Hello there, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a long time since I have not posted any videos in my channel as I was a bit preoccupied with my exams and all. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to show you my approach towards painting a portrait in just two basic colors, black and white. Trust me guys, it's going to be a lot of fun. So follow along with me to see the portrait coming to life. At this stage, I'm just painting some basic tones to establish a solid base for my painting. If you are interested to know about the kind of paper I used for this painting, then please check out the description below. Now at this stage, I am quite happy with the undertones. So I am just starting to work with the eyebrows and the overall eye area. The eyebrows and the eyes are two very integral part of the face. It defines the characteristic of a person. As you can see that at this stage, I am not concerned about the details or each individual hairs in the eyebrows. I am just painting them as plums with right tonal variation. One of the most important aspect about painting eyes are that most of the people paint the eyes into basic colors, black and white, even if they are trying to work with colors. But that's not the case. The pupil of the eye and the area around the pupil has a lot of tonal variation which are not just plain white or black. So keeping a keen attention to that is very important. It literally defines the degree of realness in your painting. The highlight reflected in the eyes are also very important because it helps to establish a three-dimensional effect in your portrait and a center of interest. I'm extremely sorry if you can just hear some noisy activities of vehicles in the background as I live in a place which is just nearby the roads so it is impossible for me to eradicate all the noise but I tried my best to minimize them to its fullest extent. Now I am just starting to work in the hairs trying to add some highlights and few clumps of individual hairs to make the hair look more naturalistic. One important thing to notice here is that I am just not using the plain black for the hairs. I am using a lot of tonal variations of grays to paint the flowing hairs because if I just use plain black then it will look more impressionistic. So understanding your painting style and adapting your techniques and approach as per that is very important. In this painting the light source is hitting the face directly so it is producing a lot of highlighted hairs which I need to paint with absolute attention. Now, as I left the skin to be very loose in my blocking stage, so at this point, I have to refine them further to make it look more smooth and glazy. As the skin of the young children are relatively very smooth and hardly contains any sort of wrinkles or rough skin. I am using a round brush to add more subtle variations in the skin tone and using a brush which is slightly damp to blend the colors in between. It is very important to maintain the brush quite dry and not overloaded because in that case you will not be able to blend the colors smoothly. In this overall skin area, the cheeks are the most trickiest part of the painting as it contains a highlighted area which is the characteristic feature of her innocent smile. But at this stage yet, I have not painted the raw white out of the tube 
to define the brightest spot in the highlighted area. I am just saving it for the later stage of the painting. There is an important tip for painting the lips. As most of the people tend to keep the edges of the lips very sharp and as a result the lips look detached from the skin which is not the case actually. The lips are so well connected with the skin so that they complement each other. You just have to paint the right tonal variations to look it more believable. Now at this stage the white background is quite bothering me so I just painted it with a slight darker grey tone. I have just started to work in the hairline to define it further so that the forehead and the hairs finds a connectivity because right now the hair seems to be floating in the blues. I am just painting a few individual hairs flowing over the forehead which are new grown hairs and it is very important to understand the characteristic of the object you are painting because it is not about mere copying to make realistic paintings it's all about understanding the nature of the object and trying to imitate them It took me quite a long time to paint all those hairs, but once I was happy with that, I just painted some more individual hairs falling from the different parts around the head to make the hairs look more believable. Now I am again going back to the eyes and the eyebrows to provide them with fine little details in and around the eyes. I'm just focusing in the eyes at this stage or I'm just trying to enhance the values even further and I also added some pure white and pure black to define the big contrast into the eyes. The other tricky thing to paint in a portrait are the eyelashes because they fall so naturally and delicately that sometimes it becomes quite tough to catch their likeliness. Though in this case I can share a tip with you people while painting eyelashes and eyebrows and the tip is that don't try to paint them as exactly as they are in your reference because no one is bothering about the each eyelashes or the individual hairs in the eyebrows it's all about how it looks when seen as a whole I just did the similar thing for the right eye as well. Now at this stage the painting is almost done. I am just using a few dots here and there to complement the amount of details in the painting.
and here is the finished piece as you can see i have also added some close up shots of this portrait so that you can have a closer look thanks a lot for your time guys and see you in my next video till then take care hey guys thanks a lot for watching if you want to support my work then please do like comment and share my works and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon which is very important so that you get notified as soon as i post a new video